agree with that. Uh, he just seems like he's a little on the wrong foot. So we'll see if he can get it done. Lots of farms down for him, uh, which is not ideal when you have so much fish on the map. I'm not sure who's the furthest ahead, but if we were just looking at Vil counts, um, it would be, well, it would be Castle Age for green and purple. Uh, Skulker has a nice 31 villager pop, but he hasn't actually gotten to Castle yet, has he? Oh, just hit it now. Okay, well, this didn't go according to plan, says Red. <laughs> and I don't have middle. Well, <laughs> okay, well, if that's the plan, I would just get middle and see how it goes. Well, tricky. And Teal, now for the first time, will make a step towards the center, completely mined off all his stone. And is trying to control the center now for the first time. But Blue, still with the Shama army left there. Yeah, it's an interesting game. I think there will be enough fighting in the center between Blue and Teal to make it interesting on that side and probably buy the players who are booming up a bit more uh, some time to win the game. But I suppose we'll find out as we roll forward. Um, yeah, so we we never really fully talked about sieves. What do you like best here, Nilly? What's what are you going for? Uh, we kind of try to address a lot of the aspects when it comes to trash units. That SO are good. That rams mm -hmm. are good. Mm. I probably would try to go for Koreans and mm -hmm. try to go for one big epic hold, mm -hmm. early control, and then just rush to him have like half my eco in the center and just build 25 bomber towers, three on just behind it and just pray. Mm -hmm. I think you probably, I guess I anticipate somebody docking the center as well, right? I mean, you need to create a column so that your reinforcements can get to the middle. Uh, I would think, but maybe I'm wrong about that. What do you think about a dock in the center? Um, I, it is super good. I'm not sure if people know about it though. It doesn't look like the typical spot where you can dock. It more looks like Ghost Lake, mm -hmm. where yeah, people might not like initially think that it's dockable. Mm. Yeah, it seems like Willis is coming back with some men-at-arms. A really strange play with all the towers around, but he wants to challenge Blue and hold the middle for a moment. Uh, I think he's going to lose all of those units pretty quickly, uh, but at least for now he's making a run. Oh, that didn't work out for him. Look at that 5 MDA down, didn't control the monument for a second. Well, Blue lost some. Teal is trying to continue with his leapfrogging towers there. I think he just needs to build towers more on the other side. He's only controlling like 80% of the monument, but not killing that scout and MDA. Yeah, and he's got trouble on the horizon, I think, because Volton, although he doesn't have as many towers, uh, it should be clicking up already. Uh, Blue player has plenty of resources uh, to click up to the castle. Oh, he's already, no, he's not there. He's in feudal, sorry. Getting confused over here, but um, powering down a market is Blue. Probably needed a building, I suppose. Uh, and then we'll see the Blue player click up, and that's going to be trouble for Teal's towers, of course. Yeah, those towers so vulnerable. Just think about like three rams could easily clear them up. Some villagers around, yeah, but ah, I think Teal at the moment, I would say with the least chances to win this game. Yeah, Teal probably made a push early, but I will see what he's up to. Uh, I am seeing a little bit of action on the back area. It looks like uh, the green player is getting out some fire galleys. He and Blue seem to have a little rivalry going on. So those two players could beat each other up. And that might slow the blue player down a bit. I suppose we'll see. Uh, the best boom so far, I suppose, is the player with 59 villagers, Liam. The Koreans player in purple is uh, booming up nicely, has docks all over the place, and seems to be fishing pretty healthily, too. Oh, man. Three docks on the outside there. And, oh, no, make that four. Just finished. So he is controlling that whole area, really benefiting from Teal being so passive on the boom on the outside. Look at that, not a single farm from him and his eco is running so nicely. Yeah, and this could be really bad for Teal. Like you said, his chances of winning are not very high. Uh, he might just end up getting beat up by the guy next to him uh, or at least squeezed off of some of his gold piles. You can imagine Purple who's gonna click imp here very soon, I would think. Uh, Liam is uh, pretty healthily booming, ah, maybe a little longer. Uh, but I think he'll be really strong and pushing into Teal's base. And of course, Teal spent everything on the front, so he's not going to be able to take uh, those resources at home. Yeah, absolutely. Well, probably some mystics as well. Just did the first axe upgrade, but mm. talk number six will be around. He is already at 
close to 100 pop here dawn 40 pop still in feudal age invested in so many towers and still not a single second controlling that monument and now his most feared enemy actually the blue player in castle age as well yeah, Koreans player in the Castle Age. Of course, the towers get the upgrades. I would imagine that uh, Blue can drop a castle if he wants to. There's only really one spot he can try it uh, in the south of the map, and Teal <laughs> for now is challenging him there. Look at Blue's resources. He was controlling the monument for the last, like, <laughs> whoa, five to ten minutes, and he has 1k, 1.5k, 2k, 1.5k. And I was like, well, he might have enough stone for uh, the retake. And oh, look at Willis. He still wants to have a saying in the monument race as well. Yeah, Willis wants to get control of the center. I suppose he's banking on holding the monument for a while. Uh, but there's so many towers around. Yeah, no chance. No chance at all. Look at all those arrows flying in. He just tries to stand there. But honestly, he cannot even micro against those. So many towers, he says. Yeah. Well, but a unit needs to run in. Even if he loses all the other units, there needs to be one unit running in. And Teal's villager, he's not sending his own villager in. He's sending him on stone. At the moment, it's still orange. <laughs> orange player grabbing some free resources, even though he's got nothing even near the center, nothing to challenge it with. Uh, Imperial Age is coming for green now, so maybe Tam is going to think about building up and pushing out. Um, keep an eye on that Slavs player who does have a castle down at home, interestingly, uh, and seems to be trying to zone blue off of his resources. Blue and green have been fighting a bit. I think green is going to be a problem because the blue player, of course, is uh, building everything in the center. Yeah, absolutely. And he does not have enough space as well. It's still orange holding that monument. Good for him. He's queuing up more spearmen, which obviously don't have any effect at the moment because they just come out, die instantly. And well, what's the plan of green? What do you think? He laughs. I don't know, Tam so far uh, built up a barracks, built up a couple spears, maybe to defend himself or something. Uh, Squires is coming, Forging is coming, so maybe he's going to keep going down that line. He does have a stable as well. I think he just wants to get an idea of what's going on on the map. Blacksmith coming up for green, University coming up for green, but it's a one, one barracks build, one stable build at the moment. So he's going to hit Imp a little flat-footed, not a whole lot of production. Hmm. Yeah, mass resources, trying to go for some more upgrades, probably forging with the university. And Don, finally on the way to Castle Age. To me, Tam looks like he will go for the trash approach first. Maybe Harbardier Hasser? Something like that. I guess so. He's going for arson. He continues to upgrade those melee units, but um, I don't know. We're going to need to see more production buildings from him if he's going to be a factor in the game. Um, but yeah, for now, green continues to build up. I'm looking at purple and yellow here as the game gets later. These two players have been grabbing some relics. Yellow player grabbing four, purple grabbing two. Uh, they both have pretty, well, purple's economy is much better. So I suppose purple is the big fish that I'd be worry about, worried about. Absolutely. 107 villagers and 29 fishing ships so his ego is just so enormous look at his resources that he banked up as well lots of map control is towering himself off from any aggression from teal so much space he has and i think he has a very good shot and if he for example goes for turtle ship in the center now he could easily clear up everything as well yeah he did grab uh karini he is grabbing ballistics so we are gonna see some docks from him we're also seeing some stone walls from purple which is usually a very uh, pragmatic idea you don't want to get your eco rated when you make that big push for the center uh so purple here seems to be building up nicely and as long as there's continued infighting for the monument between teal and blue i think he's going to be the biggest benefactor <laughs> yeah probably and teal for the first time is holding the monument so congrats to him took him a solid like 21 minutes of fighting and now he's getting a small piece of that cake finally <laughs> yep blue gets the monument right as the first couple ramps start rolling out for the blue player so he's going to control it for now but the battering ram should do the job none of these towers are walled in there's a lot of towers here so you know battering rams will actually die at some point uh, but slowly but surely, Blue should be able to take over some control there. Uh, any dark horses to win this match, Nilly? Have you been t keeping an eye on like the red or orange player? I haven't looked too much at them. Mm, honestly, I feel orange. Ah, this is a low qualifier, but simply his macro at the start mm -hmm. kind of felt like 
I don't really see him keeping up all the production, all the units flying in. His decision making with the MDA felt weird, so I feel like maybe the skill might not be enough. But yeah, Red is someone I didn't take a look at either for a very long time. He has a nice amount of resources as well. And well, what can you go for? Maybe Shotels. Oh boy. Yeah, I was looking at Red. I think Red's gonna make a push and be interesting. The thing that just caught me by surprise is look at all of Purple's new docks. Just built about, I don't know, 15 docks <laughs> on the middle pond. <laughs> That's quite a bit. Red is going for the pawns as well. Um, yeah, something most other players didn't go for. And Liam, what is he going for? He has quite a lot of resources. But didn't queue up anything yet. Is he maybe waiting for a castle to finish to go for turtle ships? You don't really need that on vulnerable kingdoms. No, he's queuing up turtle ship. He will go for the center that way. But obviously, you cannot really win with only ships. Yeah, I don't know what his plan is going to be, but maybe we see some cannon galleons in this game. Is that a possibility? Yeah, potentially. Yeah, a couple of those mixed in maybe to deal with some of the towers. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's going to be an interesting push to the middle. Those towers are going to be a little tricky to knock down. Teal player has about uh, 15 towers or so in the center of the map. Yeah, and they heavily outranged those turtle ships. 6 to, I believe, 11 or something, indeed. And, well, this will get tricky. And the style of Liam Bai is more of like, I won't allow you to win, but isn't really giving him the chance to win at the same time. Yeah, there has to be something to go along with it. I do like the idea of having a navy because, like I was saying, it's it's always nice on this map, at least the, the limited subset I have, to have a little column that protects your reinforcing units as they head to the middle. That can always be really useful. So maybe you can make a column with some ships and then send a terrestrial army to take the middle. But there's still really nothing as far as barracks or stables go for purple. He's got one barracks, no stables, no ranges, uh, no siege workshop. So it's all ships. Hmm. Yeah, so true for now. Is he getting... Oh, he's getting Bracer, Elite Chattership, Chemistry. Oh, that's it for now. People will be surprised. I, I think, like, maybe five people in this game don't even know that you can build ship in the center. So, <laughs> Don could be very surprised when he suddenly sees, like, 20 Elite turtle ship knocking at his door. Yeah, Don is going to be not only surprised, he's going to be sad. I mean, he's got a bunch of halbs coming out. He does have a couple capped rams. Uh, but I think he's going to be really upset to see all of those units uh, basically. I mean, a demo ship or two, if they do come out, could really decimate a huge group of halbs. And obviously, ships versus uh, halbs, for instance, is not a good fight. Yeah, obviously, like one demo, it could kill so much. And for the first time, we are under 100 years. And finally, Don has to be happy because he's controlling that center for quite, quite some time. Let's take a look. What are the people going for? So, Green is now going for water as well. He went for the Siege Ram Halberdier approach. Blue, not a lot of army. Yellow, very passive here as well. So far, that looks like. He's willing to go on to Mango Dice. Doesn't have a lot of food though. Kind of feel like Teal against Purple will be the first fight we will see. Yeah, the Purple player's got to get moving. He's got a good number of turtle ships coming out, but uh, Teal is, you know, that number is counting down. It's down to 80 years. Teal player has some knights in the center to defend against the Rams. And it is possible that he could hold this, Nilly. I mean, just ah. 80 years. He doesn't have a single unit there at the moment. So uh, just one scout running to the monument would actually guarantee the owner changing. That's a good point. Yes. Uh, but we'll see. I mean, Blue can run a unit in to take it over if he if he realizes that. Uh, but right now, Blue's trying to ram down the towers without too much success. Red has mostly a navy. Purple has a navy. So somebody does need a land unit to take the middle. Yeah, and a land unit really is enough here. Shodel's now coming in. They will go in then, I believe. Just simply control the monument, but well, for now he's trying to focus down some towers, focus down some knights, and just do the guaranteed damage. Yeah, nice timing on the Shodels uh, showing up, taking over the monument. Uh, still a lot of towers from Teal, but the rams are coming in as well from Red, so a really nice timed uh, push from him. <laughs> 
and Don. He will be surprised when he sees what's around the corner here. And indeed, um, he will just get shred. Those turtle ships, they aren't taking that much damage from a tower. Yeah, turtles are doing pretty good so far. Slowly but surely working their way in. Halb's headed to the middle. Of course, they're not going to do great versus the Shotels here. Uh, but everybody right now just wants to hold the middle for a little resource. Um, yeah, we still haven't seen Green come out. He does have a massive number of Halbs and a little siege behind it. Uh, so look for Green to maybe, uh, after the the smoke clears, see if he can show up here in a couple more minutes. Yeah, so true. But, well, more water controls absolutely needed. Goes for two demos and one fishing ship in the center now. Um, interesting choice, we have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Has to be a misclick, or maybe uh, maybe he just didn't realize. Maybe he's scouting with a fishing ship? I don't know. But uh, yeah, certainly the demos could do a nice job. We'll see if Green makes a move. Hmm. Let's see. He will play it very slow so far. Yellow will play it very slow as well. And Teal. Well, he is really getting pushed back. Doesn't really have the eco. 50 villages for him. 64 blue, 74 yellow are our lowest numbers. At the moment, it feels like red is taking somewhat of a shot, but, well, reinforcements will be so tough for him, looking at all those turtle ships. Yeah, absolutely. Reinforcements are going to be tough for everybody right now, except for uh, red and purple, and we'll see who can win that fight on the water. Uh, still need to see a navy out of everybody else. Slowly, uh, blue is going to get into the navy business. He'll build up his first dock. Green player is still on one dock, so he's not a major factor. Uh, yellow wants to build castles near the water and maybe some docks under it. Uh, but this game might be over before those three players get any sort of navy out. Yeah, potentially. Someone in the chat asked, how do you control the monument? If you have one unit in this stony area, it is yours. As long as this unit lives, you control the monument. But once this unit dies, the next owner will be someone else. We have a countdown ticking down, but that's something you probably saw. Whenever we are below 100 years, it switches back up to 100 whenever the owner changes. All the towers now cleared up. I feel purple needs to make up his mind to go for something on land. Look at orange. He starts to play this as well, and he goes for the same army comp as green. Yeah, orange player wants the treb. Uh, in this situation, that's probably not going to work for him. Uh, green is green is at least going to try to garrison his rams with halbs and bring them across in that uh, fashion, which that will get his halbs to the middle of the map at least. I think green might have a chance to do something, but still, he's going to lose so much to the navies that are surrounding him. That will be really tricky for orange and for green there. There's simply not enough. Two demos for green, orange, not on water at all. Blue slowly going for it, but at the moment, I kind of feel like red is in a very good spot. Like, who can really contest him at the moment? Yeah, I think it's I think it's red and it's purple right now. We do see a couple cannon galleys from purple. He's still cleaning up towers. Red player does have a good, good army of showtels in the middle. And of course, everyone else seems to be sending halves and rams and neither of those two units is really going to deal with Shotels. So, yeah, maybe it's red. Maybe it's red to, to uh, pick as a favorite. Well, 50 years to go. Does he have a unit really in the center? Yes, now he does. Those towers will get clear up and we're down to 50 years. I don't really see an army that can get there. Oh, clever green. He's sending all his harbors in the ramps so they cannot get shut down by all the galleons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, they might be able to. Oh, because purple's coming from me. the other side. And green has a massive number. Okay, let's take a look. Green is now moving in. 40 years left. Trying to get a castle up here in the center. Shoulders still around. Not all the upgrades on them. Hmm. Tricky, tricky stuff. It's important that purple allows orange to get to the center as well, so that they can fight off red, who has now rams in the center as well. 35 years ago, can red maybe do it? Red's on 34 years. Let me know if I'm cutting out. Uh, he does have a couple of siege rams in the middle. Castle does go up, which is huge for him. Uh, is probably going to need to bring the villagers into the fray to deal with all these rams. 
Oh, we will see. Oh, Mangulites. That's the perfect timing. He needs to snipe down all the red rams for now. He's just randomly focusing. We see blue now coming over as well. People are realizing this is the important phase. And I believe red will be shut down indeed. The owner now orange. Yeah, really nice target firing by the yellow player. Realizing the situation and focusing down red's units specifically. Uh, that's going to give him a chance to win the game, even though he doesn't win the monument. Yeah, sweet, sweet stuff for sure. Limba is still with the most kills. Now starting to get slowly towards the center as well. The problem with Koreans though, no siege rams for him. And if everyone is just going siege ram harbor here, I think Koreans aren't performing too well. Yeah, and if we take a quick look around the horn, uh, a lot of players are running pretty low on gold. Nobody's really uh, floating a ton of resource, so controlling that monument is even more important now than ever. <laughs> well, for the first time ever, green is controlling it, a hippo color that I did not see before. And Young Panda, he is going for gold in the center. Now purple is taking over again. And it feels like red wants to give up on fighting for the center and goes for some raids in green eagle, green eagle. Oh, very interesting, yeah. Uh, still looking at the relic count, it is still six relics for yellow. It is still a huge group of Mangadai for him. Imperial Age is in, Elite Mangadai is in, most of the upgrades are in. Maybe we see uh, that player make a push here in another couple minutes. Oh yeah, something I did not see before. Three relics, four yellow, uh, six for yellow, three for purple and one for teal. Yellow I thought had the slowest boom, but just... Oh. He thought about the long game, made sure that no one would win early on, and now he's putting himself into a nice position. Mass lead mango dice, some mong ceiling, rams around, will go for hustles. I think strategically he's playing this straight. Yeah, pretty good game from yellow. I want to see a couple more uh, stables come down here as he runs to the center so he can reinforce, but I think he'll do that in time and maybe he'll give it a run. Uh, Purple continues to stream units toward the middle, currently controlling the monument and using the cannon galleons to full effect to knock down castles and towers. Oh, okay. So let's see how this continues. Hey, Greg, welcome to my channel using your Twitch Prime. Thanks so much. Blue's army, not that great, I have to say. Now switching into skirmishes and thumpering. He probably is out of gold. Pop 114 for him only, not really the greatest production only went for two tcs here as well i think he won't really perform or like won't really contest the monument too much 66 years now for purple and still a lot of protection from the water yeah and by the way the market has been crashed by now so of course nobody can sell anything it's all been done uh, yellow players coming toward the middle, bringing a couple of villagers and a couple of monks. He's going to have a little trouble, though, with all these turtle ships, isn't he? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That will com be completely shut down. He kind of needs to run around. But purple, I believe, is in a very good spot. Green is trying to charge up again. Red has nothing. Orange, very passive here as well. I think purple is in kind of a good spot. Now red is saying go to the middle, and that's exactly what they need to do. He's sending Vils, says Red. Red is narking on the purple player. Purple player is a little trapped at home by a couple red ships, but it's only about five galleons. Uh, so villagers coming, halves coming. Purple, as you said, is making his play. And he might get this, Nilly. There's not really anybody here to stop him just yet. <laughs> Actually, two turtle ships converted here. Yellow is now going for the center. We'll lose a lot of his mango dice. It's so heavy losses. Those turtle ships are having such a great damage output. And now, well, that's more harbors than he can micro against. Green is charging in, though, and those are all full ramps. I think he can maybe do something. Only 41 years left. Yeah, green coming with a massive number of garrison siege rams, so he'll make a push. Blue's coming as well. Gonna be a little bit crazy here in the next couple minutes, but we'll see who comes out on top. Uh, purple did bring some vills, but only like five or six vills to mine some stone. So he's not uh, he's not giving up. This isn't an all-in uh, last-ditch effort from purple. Uh, let's see. Now orange is coming from the right-hand side. Red is coming from the top. Green from the left. Blue is fighting off all the cannon galleons died now. But three, this is a tough spot for purple to hold, and they are pausing this for a small moment. Yeah, maybe a tactical pause here. Everybody's catching their breath. Uh, all right, Nilly, who's going to win this game? If you had to, uh, if you had to put down some money right now, we were betting. 
I'm not really the betting guy, as you know. <laughs> and, well, it's a lot of resources for Liam by. Not really purple. I'd go with... Still purple. Yeah, purple, Still purple. does. Purple does have 2.7k gold in the bank, even though he lost a lot of turtle ships. Uh, he might be able to... Uh, he might be able to hold here, and he might be able to rebuild if he doesn't hold here. Oof. Tough spot. I just pray, you know, there is one scenario where when the host leaves the game, the specking ends, but I just pray that they had a normal pause here, and we will continue pretty soon. Try to go down to pop 88. Yeah, he lost some villagers, lost all his monks, all his mango dice died there as well. Didn't have the greatest boom. He's just getting less and less efficient as well. Take a look. What is blue going for? He's going for some trash units. Not well upgraded yet. Teal is going for water. Goes for mass fire ship here. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Yeah, fire galley's coming. War galley is on the way. Uh, the war galley upgrade, rather, to make those fire galleys stronger. Very interesting from him. Uh, not sure if he's going to be a factor in the match with that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it shapes up. A lot of players underboomed by quite a lot. Um, some players, most players stopping around 70 bills here, but looks like the pause is over. Yeah, indeed, and that's a very good sign for us. Okay, let's take a look. Green is continuing to move in here. Purple, not enough halberd yes, if you ask me. He's streaming in. No production on the center island. That might really hurt him as well. Yeah, Purple's adding in some towers, but it's a little bit, um, it's a day late and a buck short because his halbs are going to be dead very soon. Green's got enough siege ram here to soak up arrow fire, I think, but Purple does keep it a little longer. Halbs coming three by three at the moment. Oh yeah, but look at that. How many does he still have left? Now he has like eight or something in the Monument Center. We're down to 18 years. So maybe if the other players are mismicturing this heavily, he has a shot here, 15 years. There is an opportunity for mismicro. There's a lot of armies in the middle there. Are they chatting here? Let me take a look. I'm still here, 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 here. Strange purple, Liam. Be safe. Uh, okay. So apparently purple dropped at that time. <laughs> okay. So maybe, let, maybe let's continue. There. <laughs> yeah. I believe if anyone else dropped, they would just continue. But since it's only 15 years for purple, Wow, okay, let's quickly jump back and see if they can restore. Just pray that they can. <laughs> okay, um, I believe most of the stuff is not really important. Purple has a lot of resources here. Look at that gold collected. Stone, well done the most. And yeah, those six relics. Pretty nice for Mr. Schalke here. And they will restore this game. Do you think we have 15 years left now? Is it Purple's game? It might have been his game in the heat of the chaos, but now that players have jumped out and we're going to re go back in and they get a second to collect their minds, they have no excuse not to focus fire Purple's units. You know, like in the heat of the battle, you're not microing as well, but now you've had a few seconds to think about it. I just can't imagine Purple holding it. Oh, and now they started without putting on the restore. Ah. <laughs> Oh, got it, got it, got it. Go back, restore. Oh, now everyone needs to late join. Ay, 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 ay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, this is pretty good if he wins for the VOD. Because. All my VODs are ending exactly after the game is ends, so you kind of know by the length of the VOD how mm -hmm. this is going. And if you see like, oh, it's down to 16 years and the VOD is still 10 minutes longer, it will surely change. But uh-uh, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> but it might change after all. You PM'd mm -hmm. Liam and told him to pull his internet cable out so that we could have a, 
a shocking uh, YouTube content, right? <laughs> shocking, indeed. <laughs> Liam, thank you so much. Hmm. Does anyone think Vote Riders should be of 150 votes? No. <laughs> yeah, I promote it. <laughs> okay, so they're going for the restore. One and a half minutes back delay will be added as well. So, Yellow, I believe, won't really contest this game. He's kind of out of resources, very low pop, lost all his army there. Uh, let me think, Willis. He's somewhat around. Yeah. Green is playing seriously. I don't see blue contesting too much. So it kind of is purple, green, orange, and red. Yeah, I think you're right there. And, and nobody really seems to have the good follow-up army to take over the center. Green does have a lot of halbs there and some siege ram, but I, I'm, I don't think he's going to hold it. So if purple doesn't win, this game could go, I think, a little bit longer. I don't think mm -hmm. the next player to take it will win, but we'll see. We'll find out in just a minute, I guess. <sighs> And isn't like purple mispositioned? Shouldn't he have like his turtles at the spots where the other play people are reinforcing and trying to move in? Yeah, I think I've, absolutely uh, that would be useful. It wouldn't help him versus green as much, but of course he's getting attacked from every single side. So pick the player that gives you the best advantage with those turtles and try to try to snipe some units as they come in. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. In 25, no, 24 minutes, I believe, we should be jumping into the next qualifier high as well, including players like MBL. Tato will be co-casting there, so that will come up pretty shortly after this. And spec delay has started. Let's just pray it's more than one and a half minute game. <laughs> I think it will be, but let's see. Let's see how it goes down, man. So, how's the uh, how's the event been so far for you? Are you feeling like gassed at this point? It's a lot of work for you. Uh, it is a, lo a lot of work, but more work will come up. Obviously, it was the huge hype building around the announcement yesterday. Yesterday was a very long day as well, but well, I enjoyed probably every single second of it. Had great co-casters yesterday, great co-casters today, and the games have been so much better than the ones before simply because camping wasn't allowed but we are just jumping into this game let's not miss a single second here it was at 15 years and we are at 14 purple still in the center here Ooh. they need to focus him down yeah they gotta focus purple down he doesn't have that many units but it looks like green and orange are fighting each other a little bit need to be good about pointing those units uh, Purple's just got a couple halves left, but only eight years, Nilly. Uh oh, this is so tricky. He has enough people aren't really focusing him down. They need to right-click everything. Not a single range unit here. Six years down, and it seems like he might be doing it. Look at that. They are not having any range unit. This is the first time that's only how is against Harbody's three years left. Killer B! Oh, baby, it is over. The GGs are coming in. You just can't kill halves fast enough with other halves. And after all, it is Purple grabbing a win out from under... His opponents a little earlier than maybe we expected. I didn't think he could get the job done there, but he did. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a bit surprising for sure. And well, it was the turtle ships helping out, allowing his reinforcements. Liam Bai couldn't really cut that off, and not enough damage output. Simply. Okay. Thanks so yeah. much, doubt for the host. And we are just yeah. After the one hour game, King of the Hill here, and people were fighting about this monument in the end. Liam by one and with going mass to the ship and mass hull, but dears, poof, tricky situation here. What did they do wrong? Maybe Yellow losing all his mango dice there really hurt them in the end. Yeah, Yellow did rescue the monument before with his mango die, and then he got out, but then he came back and basically lost them all to Purple's turtle ships. Purple rebuilt that turtle ship army. He basically did a good job to squeeze off any reinforcements to the island. In the end, you can see his turtle ships in big groups are stopping reinforcements. And, uh, you know, Blue's just a little too late to the party. So a nice win from Purple. Got to give him some props. That was, that was his only chance. <laughs> if that oh, didn't work, it was over. But he did have a lot of resources as well. Mm -hmm. So in the end, great play by him. 
and welcome everyone from doubt stream and well that was qualifier number seven in the books 